Hello, so I'm going to be teaching you about lambda layers, which are a really useful way of adding dependencies. So you can see right now I have this basic lambda function and we're using two libraries, requests and beautiful soup. But if I run this right now, you'll see that we get no module named requests and we also get the same issue for beautiful soup. Uh, so we're going to be using lambda layers to fix this. So what are lambda layers? Lambda layers are a service with AWS where you can go in your lambda section, go into a place called layers, and if you package up a folder with all your dependencies and stuff that you might be might need as a zip file, you can upload it and uh, create what's known as a layer. And then this layer can get attached to multiple Lambda functions or any Lambda function in the future that you might create. So maybe you need pandas or NumPy or beautiful soup or requests or open AI or whatever. You can put it all in one layer or separate layers and attach it to whatever Lambda function needs those uh, dependencies. Something I like in particular about layers is, I mean, their ease of use, but also the other option is you upload from zip file, and once your uh, files get too big, you no longer get access to this code editor. You don't have that issue with uh, Lambda layers. There's other ways around it, like uh, using uh, Docker container images, which I have other tutorials on, but that's a different topic. Anyway, in the AWS documentation, this is the most important part, I would say, of uh, Lambda layers, is this packaging layers section. So when you're creating Lambda layers, um, depending on your runtime, we're going to be using Python. It needs to follow this exact path. So Python, lib, then the version. So in our case, it will be 3.1, site packages, and then inside of there is all your dependencies and stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create our layer. So I'm on a MacBook. Um, if you're not on a MacBook, I mean, ideally, it'd be great if you can get a Linux environment. Going to go to a Terminal and then go to a Desktop. And we're going to make a new folder. We'll call it Layer stuff. Um, so there's our new folder. Now we'll cd into that that folder and then we're going to make a new uh, virtual environment. So you're going to type python 3-m v e n v my environment. So run that and then run this uh, source my env bin activate command and that's going to and that's going to go ahead and activate our virtual environment. So now we can go ahead and install all the stuff we might need. So let's do a uh, beautiful soup first. So beautiful soup four, pip install beautiful soup four. All right, and we also needed requests. So we'll go ahead and pip install requests. So that should be good. So going to close that and let's open up the folder to see what's inside. So we have my environment and we really just care about this um, lib, as you see, and Python 3.1, site packages, and we have all of our dependency stuff inside of here. Um, okay, so I'm going to actually make another new folder called Python, because if you remember, it has to be called Python. And we only really need this lib. So we're going to drag that into Python. And this needs to be a zip file. So we're going to compress that into a zip file. And now we have python.zip. So let's go back to AWS now. And we're going to click on the hamburger icon. So if you're anywhere inside of Lambdas, you get this hamburger icon and you'll have layers and we're going to now click create a layer and we'll call our layer requests bsf yt demo 
and I'll write this has requests and beautiful soup in it. All right, so that's our description. And now we just need to get that python.zip file and upload it into here. Then compatible architectures, you can just go ahead and click both of those. And we just want Python 3.1 here. So that's what it's compatible with. So we'll go ahead and click on create. So this is going to take a few minutes. It's gonna and there we go, we have our layer created. So we'll go back to Lambda and let's go ahead and create a new Lambda function. We're gonna call it uh, Nikola Tesla Wiki demo, all right? And we'll pick a 3.1, leave this as our architecture, and we'll go ahead and click on create function. So there we go, we have our code here. So if we go ahead and write import requests, and we'll click on test, and then for event name, just put anything in here, and we'll save that. Click deploy, and if we test, we should get an error right now. Yeah, so unable to import module lambda function, no module named request. So that is because we haven't attached our layer yet to this lambda function. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see in this layer section, you can click add layers. Um, now before I attach our layer, I wanna show you a really useful tip here. Like maybe you want pandas specifically. That's a really common layer, a lot of really common dependency a lot of people want. They actually have pandas right here, this AWS SDK pandas Python 3, 310. You can just click that and then just click the whatever latest version is and then just click add and then boom, you have uh, pandas. So uh, AWS gives like a few like pre-created layers so you don't have to bother with figuring out like the packaging of the dependencies to get it to work, so that's nice. But uh, that's not this tutorial, let's go back to the custom layers and we're going to find the one we just created inside of custom layers, which is um, this one, request bs4 yt demo, that's what we just created and then we'll just click that, version one is only one version and we'll click add. And this should add in a beautiful soup and requests. So if we go back to our code, here's our Lambda function. Before, if you remember, it wasn't working. Let's see, now, now we're getting the hello from Lambda message. So it is working. Let's go get the rest of our code and test it here. All right, so I went ahead and pasted the rest of the code. I'm gonna deploy this. This is a really basic Lambda function that's just going to be using requests, beautiful soup, and it's going to be getting um, this Wikipedia article returning it uh, fully. So if we run test, um, we might get a timeout error here. Yeah, so this is beyond the scope of gonna go quickly to configure and uh, increase this to like 50 seconds and we'll just click save. All right, so now that I increased the timeout, let's go ahead and test if our dependencies are working. Yep, so there we go. We returned this whole this big string is just that Nikola Tesla article from Wikipedia. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope you learned something about AWS layers. I think they're a great way of adding uh, dependencies to AWS. Thanks, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.